Hi friends, welcome back to another first grade virtual summer video lesson 21 with Mrs. Maldonado. I have prepared for you a guided reading lesson and today boys and girls we are going to be talking about insects and spiders. So let's go ahead and get started with uh, our book and it's insects and spiders is the title of our book and it's by Cynthia O'Brien and Jessica Pegas. So here's our table of contents. What are insects and spiders is chapter one starting on page two. Chapter two, body part detective starting on page 10. Chapter three, a creepy crawly life starting on page 16. Then we have chapter four, amazing home starting on page 24. And then we have our smart words glossary on page 31. So today, boys and girls, we will be focusing on chapter one, what are insects and spiders that will be starting on page number two. Chapter one, what are insects and spiders? Insects are all around us. Some are shy like butterflies, some sting like wasps, others like ants crawl around. So this is a photograph of a red spotted purple admiral butterfly. So boys and girls, look how beautiful this butterfly is. Then we have on page number three, we have a photograph here with some labels of a black ant. It's pointing to its legs and its antennas. What makes an animal an insect? Look closely and you will see. They all have six legs. Their bodies are divided into three parts. Spiders look a bit like insects, but look again. Spiders have eight legs. Their bodies are divided into two parts. Many spiders spin webs. So this is a photograph of a cross spider. Then boys and girls, we have these words that are shaded or we, not shaded, but highlighted, but mo more so bolded so they can stand out. And those are our smart words that we could also refer to as vocabulary words. An insect, the definition of an insect is an animal with six legs and a body divided into three parts. Then we have spider, which is an animal with eight legs and a body divided into two parts. So we have to, um, Remember that insects and spiders are different because an insect has six legs. A spider has eight legs. An insect is divided into three parts. A spider is divided into two parts. Okay, so those are the differences between an insect and a spider. Baby insects. Just like birds, most insects hatch from, e from eggs. This is part of the insect life cycle. Mosquitoes lay their eggs in water. Other insects like ladybugs lay their eggs on plants. A larva hatches from the egg. So he, we have a photograph of a mosquito here. This is an adult ladybug. And these boys and girls are ladybug eggs. Okay, so those are how um, the ladybug eggs look. The larva does not look like its parents. It eats leaves or other small insects. Then it becomes a pupa. So this is a ladybug larva. So this larva, boys and girls, does not look like the adult ladybug. We could, I don't think we could even tell that this was a ladybug because it changes. Look at the shape and also the color is different. A ladybug pupa attaches itself to a leaf. It stays like this for days or weeks. Amazing changes happen. Wings grow, legs grow, the pupa's skin breaks, an adult insect comes out. So this is a ladybug pupa, and we can see that it's starting to take more form of a ladybug as far as its colors and its spots. Um, it's starting to look a little bit more round, okay? more different than the ladybug larva that we have over here. So this is the ladybug life cycle. So we have the adult ladybug who lays eggs. So the, these are the eggs that we see here. This is the more 
uh, close-up of the ladybug egg, um, eggs, boys and girls. But this is how they hatch. They hatch. There are several of them, like in a group. Then the eggs hatch into larvae. Okay, and we see a close-up of the ladybug larva here. And then it turns into a pupa, which we see up here, a little bit more um, bigger size. And then we have the adult ladybug. So we have other smart words, larva, which is this picture here. A young insect or animal that changes as it grows. So a larva, boys and girls, is what what hap what it looks like after it hatches out of an egg so it's a young in insect that changes as it grows so we see that after the larva it's going to turn into a pupa and then an adult life cycle a series of changes that happen over over the life of an insect or plant so this is what <clears throat> excuse me this is the life cycle of a ladybug pupa which we see here, the stage between a larva and an adult insect. Baby spiders. <clears throat> like insects, spiders lay eggs. The mother spider lays many eggs inside an egg sac. She then hides the egg sac on a leaf, in her web, or someplace else. Our smart word is highlighted is an egg sac. Egg sac, a pouch made of silk that protects a spider's eggs. So this is a photograph of a black widow spider with an egg sac. And on the other page, boys and girls, we have uh, spiderlings, which is right here. We can see them right here, very tiny. And this is a mother wolf spider with babies on her back. Tiny spiderlings hatch from the eggs. The mother feeds the babies. Some mother spiders, spiders carry their babies on their back. So we see this photograph of this wolf spider. It's carrying its babies, its spiderlings, in its back. Some baby spiders learn to live on their own. They grow into adults. The female lays eggs. The spider life cycle starts again. So this is the um, spy, spider life cycle. So this is the adult spider. Then it has an egg sac, which is what we see here, boys and girls. That's the egg sac of a black widow spider. Then we see the eggs, okay? And then the spiderlings, which we see up here on top of this wolf spider. And then the adult spider all over again. And then the cycle continues. It continues. It goes on and on. Um, the baby spiders, they get older, become adult spiders. They, have, they lay eggs, and then it starts all over again. Okay, then boys and girls, we have our use your smart words page. And then on this one, we're going to use your, uh, the smart words to complete the crossword puzzle. Okay, so these are some of the smart words that we had. We had egg, egg sac, egg sac, insect, larva, life cycle, and spiderling. Okay, so we have some words that are across and some that are down. Okay, we have a lacewing caterpillar right here, and then we have a lacewing butterfly. Okay, so this is the caterpillar, and then this is what it looks like when it turns into a butterfly. Okay, so we have one going across. That means it's going this way, okay, across. This is a baby spider. What do we call a baby spider? Well, a baby spider we call a spiderling, okay, S-P-I-D-E-R-L-I-N-G, spiderling, okay, so we have number four. Now we're going to do number one down. This is made of silk and protects a spider's egg. What is made of silk and protects the spider's eggs? Well, we know that is an egg sac. Okay, that's right here. E, G, G, S, A, C. 
So this boys and girls is shaded because no word goes there. That means that there's a space in between the word, okay? So then we have two going down. The changes that happen over the life of an animal or plant are called this. Remember that it's an adult, then it lays eggs, then something else happens, and then it keeps going. Okay, so what is that called? That is a life cycle. Okay, so that's this two yellow words right here. L-I-F-E. And then we have a space, boys and girls, because life is one word, and then cycle is another word. So we're going to leave a space, and then C. Y C L E life cycle. Okay, then we have number three going down. This has six legs and a body divided into three parts. What has six legs and a body divided into three parts? That is an insect right here. I N S E C T insect. Okay, the next one we have is number five, also going down. Okay, this is part of the life cycle of a spider or an insect. This is a part of a life cycle of a spider and an insect. That is egg. Okay. Remember the adult lays the eggs, so E, G, G, egg. Okay, the last one is number six. This is the name of a baby insect when it hatches from an egg. What is that called? That is called a larva, L-A-R-V-A, -A, larva. All right, boys and girls, so the next thing that we're going to be doing is we are going to uh, read about how to make a butterfly life cycle. Okay, so you will need a paper plate, which you see a photograph here. You will need a marker, and the marker doesn't matter what color, boys and girls, whatever color you want. You will need some glue. You will need a leaf that you can just go and take from outside. You will need one bean. You will need pasta in three shapes shown below. So this is the twisty one, okay? This is the shell, and then we have the bow, okay? This, these are the twists, the shell and the bow, okay? First, draw a big cross on your plate to make four sections. So you're not gonna make it all the way through, but only in the center, okay? Make a big cross. Next, you're going to glue the leaf onto the plate on the top left section. So you're going to draw it right here. Or not draw it, but you're going to glue it right there. Okay? Because that's where it starts. It starts off as an egg. But you are going to put the bean, number three, you're going to glue the bean on top of the leaf. So first you're going to glue the leaf, boys and girls, and then you're going to glue the bean on top of the leaf. Next, glue each pasta into its own section like in the picture. So remember first it is the, the egg, okay? Then it is the, what happens uh, the, after the butterfly, okay? It is a caterpillar, right? Then it turns into a cocoon and finally, the butterfly emerges from the cocoon. So this is the butterfly, okay? So next you're gonna glue each pasta into its own section like in the picture, which we just reviewed. Label your life cycle with your smart words. So you're gonna write egg, larva, pupa, and then the insect or the butterfly. And then you can write on here, life cycle of a butterfly because it's finally add a title to your life cycle. And then you can draw a circle, boys and girls, but you're gonna, not a close circle. You're gonna start your line here, where my cursor is, go around, all the way around, and stop right here. And where you stop, you're gonna add, you're gonna draw an arrow. The arrow meaning that it's just gonna keep going, 
okay? Over and over and over, repeating again, okay? Then we have talk like a scientist. Both insects and spiders lay eggs. Use your smart words to describe what happens next. Okay, then we have a really cool fun activity where we are going to make a spider. Boys and girls, now it is turn for you to make a movie spider craft. So this is being presented to us by D, um, Do It Yourself for Kids Moving Spider Craft by Very Easy and Fun Craft. Okay, this is going to be a moving spider uh, and you will need some uh, paper, uh, preferably a black and a gray, and then you will need some white and maybe some markers or crayons and a stick. Now remember, if you don't have uh, these color of papers, you can also color them. So it's four long pieces of paper because remember the spiders have four legs on each side. Four on one side, four on the other side. So a total of eight legs. You don't have glue, you can also use tape. So those are the four, okay, that are gonna be four on each side to make eight. Then she uses a stick. You can use whatever stick you have. You can even use a little branch from a tree if you wanted to. Be resourceful. Remember the butterfly, I'm, I'm sorry, the spider has two parts. Then she's folding them twice, so it resembles the spider's legs. All right, boys and girls, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, moving spider craft activity. So I want you to be creative with this uh, craft. Um, I know that in the video, she did not draw the little fangs, so you can draw fangs, add fangs to your spider. Remember, boys and girls, that spiders are different colors, so they're not, all the spiders are not black. You can use different colors, so be creative. Also, some spiders have patterns on their body parts or on their legs. You can also add patterns to the spider. Remember that each leg, boys and girls, you're going to fold it three times. You're going to fold it inwards towards the body, then you're going to fold it in the middle, and then at the end for its feet. You're going to do that every single time for each leg. Also, boys and girls, let's review. The spider has how many body parts? Two body parts. How many legs? It has eight legs, four on each side. What about an insect? How many body parts does an insect have? An insect has Three body parts, boys and girls. How many legs does an insect have? It has six legs, three on each side. All right, boys and girls, I hope you've enjoyed uh, my lesson today uh, about insects and spiders. This was chapter one. Stay tuned for chapter two, then we'll have chapter three and four. Have an awesome day. Until next time.